CataractCoach.com, Faco Fundamentals Part 3, Peristaltic versus Venturi Fluid Pumps. Let's talk about these. When everything works perfectly, within the tiny space of the anterior segment, we have very stable fluidics. Two Faco machines here, they look very similar, but they are actually different. So if you look at this Faco machine, and we look inside here, this has a typical peristaltic pump. And there's another here, peristaltic pump. But in this machine here, this is a Venturi. So cartridge goes in there, and that's going to work on the Venturi principle. So these two pumps are very different. Let's examine that. For a peristaltic pump, on the flexible tubing, there are pinch rollers that compress and milk the fluid along. This then drains into a fluid drainage bag, not a rigid cassette. So this is a peristaltic pump, and that's probably the most common use in most FACO machines. So for FACO here, we have a machine that has a peristaltic pump, which means that even if the vacuum is 425 milliliters of mercury, even if fact we put it even higher, we put it to 500 millimeters of mercury. Will we achieve that if we put the pedal all the way down? And the answer is no. Pedals all the way to the ground, yet the FACO tip, because it's not occluded, fails to generate high vacuum. So peristaltic pumps, if they're not occluded, you will not be able to achieve the high vacuum despite the preset. So non-occluded is low vacuum and high flow. When you occlude the tip, now the flow drops, but now you can increase the vacuum to your preset level. So if we occlude the FACO tip, we can occlude it completely. And the vacuum keeps building. Now we can achieve our vacuum that we want. And that is ideal, so occlusion is required for maximum vacuum on a peristaltic pump. Again, open this up, you can see, if we eject the cartridge here, there are the pinch rollers. And so that's the peristaltic pump. These rotate then, and they compress the other side of this, which has a softer backing, and the fluid is pinch rolled along this area. And then fluid is drained into the plastic bag here that hangs on the front. Now let's flip over and look at a Venturi system, which is very different. In a Venturi, we use the Venturi effect to create vacuum instantly. And that has to be done into a rigid drainage cassette, not a plastic bag. So here, it's a vacuum pump. We create vacuum. And that's usually with the flow of compressed air, such as nitrogen. And when we operate with the system, if the tip's not occluded, we can still have very high vacuum and very high flow. And when we occlude the tip, the flow will drop, of course, and the vacuum will still be high. Remember, we can't independently set the flow rate here. It varies with the vacuum level. That's a big difference. And again, here back in the eye, regardless of what pump we use, peristaltic or venturi, the performance in the eye can be excellent with either. So again, on the left, a peristaltic pump is flow-based. We have vacuum created only on occlusion of the phaco tip. Flow is constant until you get occlusion, then it drops. And this drains into a soft bag. The key point for a peristaltic pump is you must occlude the tip to achieve the high vacuum settings. On a Venturi pump, looking here now on the right, the Venturi pump V is for vacuum, it's vacuum based. The vacuum is created instantly by the Venturi pump. So you don't have to have occlusion, you can have instantly a very high level of vacuum. But the flow varies with the vacuum level. You cannot independently set the aspiration flow rate like you can in a peristaltic pump. And this requires drainage into a rigid cassette. Either one you use is fine, you just have to tailor your settings and we're going to explain that next time when we talk about Poisson's equation and how it relates to fluid flow.